there's a spectrum of sophistication across financial institutions around their use and adoption of data and analytics, not surprisingly. There are some that are more advanced and others who are now playing catch up. Um, in credit cards and to some degree in retail banking, uh, those are the parts of the industry that are most advanced. They've long used uh, transaction data, consumer behavior information, all different sources of data to make credit and pricing decisions. But other parts of financial institutions are now investing heavily. For example, asset management firms are beginning to use sources of big data to better understand their market, their competitive market and market trends. They're using them to identify potential opportunities for new mandates. Uh, they are also using them to shape their sales and marketing programs. Hedge funds, which have long been known for their really strong you know, quantitative skills and expertise, have also been adopting new sources of data, and in particular, new sources of data that they've exploited from, uh, from the government and things like that to make better um, investment decisions. Insurance companies, on the other hand, are beginning to play catch up. They have a strong, robust tradition of uh, the actuarial data that has always been core to risk and pricing. Uh, but what we have seen is a real proliferation of um, interest and new roles being created to better capture a lot of the third party and big data sources and use them for a, a broader variety of business decisions in insurance companies. We have seen the emergence of two C-level roles uh, take shape. One is the chief data officer and the other is the chief analytics officer. So data needs to be managed as a strategic asset. Chief data officers function at the enterprise level and they can help to really maximize the value that a company um, can realize from their data assets in ways that haven't been possible before. According to Gartner, there are over 100 chief data officer roles that now exist, and that's up from probably almost zero just a couple of years ago. So the trend is significant and it's growing, and we are seeing this literally on a kind of week by week basis. The majority of those chief data officers actually sit in financial services in banking organizations and insurance companies. Chief analytics officers are the other role a little bit of the kind of counterpart or yin and yang to the chief data officer. And that function is really about leveraging a big data infrastructure and making use of data so that uh, data and information get pushed out to business decision makers across the enterprise to help them inform their business, better inform their business choices and it really moves the power of the data into the hands of the business executives themselves. So we believe that we will continue to see significant demand for both of these roles going forward, uh, not just in financial services, but across other industries as well. What clients are telling us that they really want are two things. One, very strong strategic skills and the ability to understand the business strategy and therefore shape the way that data is being used to inform business decisions. The second is leadership and influence management. And there, these are enterprise level roles. They operate across different lines of business, across all the different functions. And uh, quite often there's a lot of change that has to take place in an organization to bring about the value. So that ability to operate in a very collaborative fashion with peers and influence and sometimes drive a lot of change is as critical to the technical capabilities that somebody brings to the table. Even though specialized roles are being created, the reality is that all executives have to become more data literate and avid consumers of data and the insights that come out of it. Having a core set of analytical talent is not enough to transform an organization. The businesses that will ultimately be most successful will be those best able to leverage data and to apply insights to the most critical business challenges.